Hello, Tony. Thanks for sending your swing to Golf Digest Challenge. My name is Mike Richards. Let's take a look at your swing. Again, it looks like your the last video I did. It's like the stance is a little uneven with the ground that you're swinging on. But uh, that's not so much what I'm going to be paying attention to. What I'm going to pay attention to is left hand grip and how it affects your club face. And your right hand grip I wouldn't do much with, but the left hand I would do a lot with. I just don't like the looks of that. What I would do with your left hand, if you're in front of me for any length of time, I'd move it a little bit more to your right to get it more into the fingers so you can't see as much of the spacing and the gaps right there in your fingers. And I get that V of your left hand looking more at your chin, not over here towards your left shoulder. Because what's that going to do for you, Tony, is what's happening to the top of your swing. Now, it's very difficult because your camera jumps on me a little bit because of the shutter speed you use. But I can tell you right now, the top of your backswing, that club face is extremely closed. And I'm trying to get it stopped up there. I'm going to show you right now. That club face is facing the top of those trees. I can darn near put a glass of water right here on this club face. Now, Tony, when you swing the golf club, what should be happening, I'm going to flip Sean O'Hare left hand so you can see it. What should be happening is at this angle, as you got the camera, the club face should be facing us. And right now, your club face faces more towards the top of the tree. So typically what controls the club face and how the club hinges or the wrist hinges in the backswing is the grip. So I would def definitely take a look at your grip and I'd take a look at your tension of your arms and your wrists because they're not hinging correctly. One of the drills I would give you is I would have you set up to the shot without really moving your arms a whole lot. Take your wrist and hinge that club up here and try and just touch the top of part of your head. So vertically cock your wrist up till they touch your head. Now you should see some type of an angle in your left wrist and your right wrist. And when you see that, that angle should look the same back here in your hands. Just like this one does. And right now, your grip, I promise you, your thumbs are to the side on the top of your swing. His thumbs are underneath the shaft. Your thumbs are to the side. So the thumbs underneath, club face square. Thumbs to the side, club face closed. And you can hit all kinds of balls into that net that you've got. But what happens is you get on the golf course, you hit some big mean hooks and don't know why. So I want you to really work on your grip and your club face. Your swing doesn't look all too bad, but I just want you to fix those two things. And Tony, if you fix those two things, I think you'll be a little bit better off consistency with your with your ball flight. So Tony, good luck with that. Work on those two, and uh, thanks for sending your swing to the Golf Digest Challenge.